After installing Oracle VirtualBox, we need to download and install the CUCS virtual machine image file. We can find the file at the Moodle site associated with the CUCS VM. Go ahead and log in to the CUCS Moodle site and navigate to the CUCS Foundations VM link near the top of the courses screen. On this page you can find a downloading the VM link and from here you can find the list of download locations. All of these locations have the same files so simply pick one that seems to go the fastest. This will start the download of the CUCS VM image. Once the download is complete you can go ahead and close your browser and go ahead and open Oracle VirtualBox. From the file menu, select Import Appliance, click Choose, and navigate to the location where you downloaded the file in the previous step. You should be able to select the CUCS Foundations VM.OVA file that you downloaded and click Open. Go ahead and click Next. Here you can review and edit any of the information with the virtual machine. The default settings should be fine for most users. If you would like to increase the number of CPU cores or RAM that the machine can use, you can do that at this time by double clicking on the value and changing it to a larger number. I'm going to leave it at 1 on my machine, but I will increase the RAM to 2 gigabytes. Generally you want to set these at half of your computer's total resources or two cores and two gigs of RAM, whichever happens to be lower. My computer only has two cores and four gigs of RAM, so I'm only going to get the virtual machine one core and two gigs of RAM. Remember, you can leave these all at their default values if you don't feel like messing with it, but those are the optimal settings if you would like to change it. Go ahead and click Import. And we'll now see VirtualBox begin importing the virtual machine. This can take up to 5 to 10 minutes depending upon the speed of your computer. So go ahead and let it complete and we'll continue once it does. After the import process completes, you'll be returned to the main VirtualBox Manager screen. You can select the recently imported VM on the left and you'll be able to view some information about it on the right. At this point, if we clicked the green start arrow with the virtual machine selected, the virtual machine would go ahead and boot up and we could begin using it. We can also click the settings button, which will open up the virtual machine settings manager. Here we can do things like change the amount of RAM we've allotted to the VM, as well as the number of cores we've given it, and a whole lot of other settings. Most users won't need to mess with any of the default settings, but if you would like to change them, you can do so here. It's worth noting that we only need to import the VM into VirtualBox once. Once it's been imported, VirtualBox will remember the VM even after we close it and reopen it again. The VM will simply be available in whatever state we last left it in. We've never used this VM, so it's still in the base state that we downloaded it in. In the next video, we'll look at actually booting up the VM and using it with some basic commands. This completes the process for importing and setting up the CUCS Foundations virtual machine.